by Richard Courier, dialogue by H.M. Walker, and direction by James Parrott. We thank you. your care. Be sure that the person who rents my house is reliable. A person you can trust. Yes, yes sir. sir. Very good. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye Colonel. Sir. Did you see a couple of bozos run this way? Sure, a couple just went in there. What's wrong? Trying to make a hotel out of the city park. Why, they even put a couple of benches together so that they could have twin beds. Oh, yeah? Yes, and when I told them to move on, the little fella tips his hat and said, Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm sore about. <laughs> mess you've gotten me into. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Come on, let's reconnoiter. Certainly, I've got everything. Will you get a move on before we miss that boat? Oh, all right. Oh, come on, hurry up. Get a move oh, on. Get I'm a move coming. on. But listen, there's a do you really think it's safe for us to go away like this and leave this place until Monday? Oh, sure. The Colonel won't be back for at least six months. And what's the difference if we rent the house today or next week? It's all the same. All right, go on. Oh, go you're on. always ready to start an oh, argument. Oh, and you're come always on, hurry blaming up. me. Hmm. <laughs> 
Reminds me of old Avon's now. It's just the thing. Oh, is it the cop? Who is this Colonel Buckshot? What's he like? I haven't the slightest idea. I never met the old dear. Oh, I do hope he rents us the place. Somebody to rent the place. Oh, what'll we do? Do? Just use your brains. You put on the butler's clothes and tell them the Colonel is not home. Simple. Yes, but if they don't argue about it. Wait, wait now, Rose. I think I hear someone coming. Is this the home of Colonel Wilberforce Buckshot? Yes, sir. Well, uh, I understand this place is for rent. Is it? I, I mean, it is, yes. Of course it is! I am Lord Leopold Plantry. My car. Hey, the Colonel isn't home. You'll have... You wish to see the Colonel? Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'd love to. Oh, oh, oh. Colonel Buckshot! Ooh. Oh, Ollie! Uh, Colonel Buckshot! Wait there. Colonel Buckshot! What is it, Hives? This is Lord Appletree. He wants to rent a room. No, no, my dear fellow, Plamtree, Plamtree. Lord Leopold Plamtree. And I want to rent the entire house. Show them to the solarium. I'll be right down. This way, sir. pleasure of addressing Colonel Wilberforce Buckshot. None other. Colonel Buckshot at your service. I am Lord Leopold Plantry. 
delighted. My wife. Charm. <laughs> My wife and I have just returned from our honeymoon. <laughs> The hotel being full, my dear little wife suggested that we rent a furnished home. <laughs> you understand? Yes, yes, yes. So we should like to take possession immediately. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Oh, besides the butler, you have maid service. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> I'd like to see the maid, please. Just a moment. Oh, Hives. Will you call Agnes? Who? Call Agnes. Oh, Agnes! Pardon me just a moment. What do you want to tell him that the Colonel was home for? I couldn't help it. You've case. got me into this mess and you've got to get me out of it. What do you mean, I got Go you. put the maid's clothes on and we'll get rid of them. I'm not going to put the maid's clothes on. What a lovely piano. It is beautiful, isn't it? Do you play, Colonel? Well, uh, yes and uh, no. <laughs> oh, do render us a selection. Well, I'll try. Lord Leopold Plumtree, my car. Oh, a thousand pardons. My mistake. <laughs> Pardon me, it must be the postman. What do I do with these? Put them on. You wear them. Do you play anything else, Colonel? Oh, yes. Uh, I'm very efficient at croquet, parcheesi, and uh, billiards. Oh, you have a billiard room. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> I should love to see it. Why, certainly. If you'll just follow me. Pardon me, my dear. All right, darling. Uh, Agnes will be right down. Thank you, Colonel. Come. The billiard room. Oh, yes, the <laughs> billiard room. Uh, that chair is an old heirloom. <laughs> uh, there's a picture I must show you. Uh, that's a gondola going through the Panama Canal oh. in Venice. Oh, now to the billiard room. <laughs> the billiard room. <laughs> yes, billiard room, and we'll have that all. Uh, uh, Agnes, uh, meet your new master, Lord Flagpole Plumtree. Plumtree, Plumtree, Lord Leopold Plumtree, my car. That's right. <laughs> Pardon me, are you any relation to the butler? Oh, yes, yes, uh, they are twins. You see, one was born in Detroit and the other in the army. <laughs> I don't quite understand. Oh, that's all right. Neither do they. <laughs> Great. Agnes, you may go. Yes, sir. Oh, Agnes, when you see my wife, uh, give her my regard. Yes, sir. All right. 
Yes, ma'am. You see, uh, I'm twins. How remarkable. <laughs> I'd like to find out a few details regarding the house. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, Agnes, how long have you been here? About a half an hour. Uh, oh, <laughs> how silly of me. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> I mean, uh, a half a year. To be exact, three months. <laughs> How many bedrooms are there? I haven't looked yet. You haven't you looked uh, oh, <laughs> I'm still nervous. <laughs> That's silly of me. <laughs> bedrooms, now let me see. Of course there must be bedrooms. Uh, fancy a house without bedrooms. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> now let me see now. There's mine and the master's. And master's and mine. That's four. Uh, not forgetting the couch in the hall. <laughs> then there's... Uh, no, 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 no. There's the master's. And yours. That's two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How silly. <laughs> uh, two. Oh, and then there's the nursery. The nursery? Yes, ma'am. Why? I didn't understand that the Colonel was married. Oh, oh <laughs> no, of course. He has that in case of accident. Accident? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You misunderstood me, didn't you? <laughs> Isn't that silly? He has that in case of accident to any of the help around the house. A sort of a kind of a hospital. Oh, <laughs> how noble of him. Is <laughs> Oh, my well. Oh. Tell me, Agnes, uh, how many maids does the Colonel keep? Oh, he, he never tells me his private affairs. Private never. affairs? Why, servants are private affairs. Oh, some of them are. You see, I'm the only one left at present. The others left last week. They had housemaids' knees. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you like to stay on with us? Eh? Oh, now, don't disappoint me. Say that you will. You'll be such a comfort to me. My husband will be away most of the time. Oh, say that you will. Oh, go on. <laughs> ah, at last I've found it, Lord Appletree. Plum tree, my dear fellow. Plum tree, axe and all the lamb, my car. Plum tree, plum tree, plum tree. <laughs> I am awfully sorry. Now, what did I do with that billiard room? Oh, 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 oh. That's quite all right, old fellow. I never play anyway. Leopold Ambrose! Leopold! Are you quite satisfied, darling? Oh, perfectly, my dear. And what good news I have for you. With the Colonel's permission, Agnes has consented to stay on with us. Why, nothing would please me better. Uh, she's been in my service since boyhood. I, I mean, girlhood. <laughs> <laughs> now, dear, will you return to the depot and attend to our trunks while I go over final details with dear old Bucky? <laughs> Quite right, Plummy. <laughs> Come, Agnes, see me off. Yes, ma'am. You're such a dear. <laughs> oh, Agnes. Call me a cab. Huh? Call me a cab. You're a cab. Oh, on the telephone! <laughs> Are you quite sure we can take immediate possession? Oh, absolutely. I'm leaving in a few minutes. It won't be long now. Wonderful. Uh, what would the rental be? Uh... 
Would twenty dollars a month be too much? Twenty dollars a month? Yes. Why, that's practically giving it away, Colonel. Well, I picked it up for practically nothing myself. What a beautiful car. Is it for sale? Uh, it could be purchased. Oh, by the way, Colonel, have you any horses? I'm sorry. I've just shipped all of my horses to my plantation in Kentucky. Kentucky? What part of Kentucky do you come from, Colonel? Omaha. Dear old Omaha. I thought Omaha was in Wisconsin. About Agnes's salary. Oh, uh, don't worry about that. That isn't due until next month. Uh, Agnes, call Hives. Huh? Call Hives. Oh, Hives! Pardon me just a moment. Hives will be right down. Correct, Colonel. Thank you. Uh, uh, won't you have one? Now, my dear plum tree, I think that covers everything. Yes, I think so, Colonel. I shall add it up and give you a check for same. Very good, very good. Two, three, four, stop, carry one, two. Ah, oh, there you are, Hives. Uh, Hives, what is your salary? Oh, uh, pardon me just a moment. Uh, oh, by the way, Hives, what is your day off? Tuesday. Tuesday? Why, today is Tuesday. However, I shan't all the conditions. Uh, you may have your day off. Oh, and by the way, on your way out, tell Agnes I want to see her. Tell Agnes he wants to see her. <laughs> Colonel, you're a very easy man to do business with. <laughs> so the Morgans have told me. You see, the last deal that we had on... Oh, <laughs> Just a minute. I forgot to pack my bow and arrow. Oh, Agnes! Uh, that's my cap. Get my hat and coat and go to the door. What do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye, Plummy. Pleasant journey, Colonel. Thank you. Well, thank you. What's this? You wish to see Colonel Buck shop? What? Why, nothing would suit me better. Colonel Buck shop! Uh, pardon me. Uh, just a moment, Colonel. Your check. Oh, that's all right. Just mail it to me to South Africa. <laughs> uh, did you wish to see me? So you're Colonel Buckshot. At your service. The last of the Kentucky Buckshot. Then, uh, who do you think I am? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Now, just a moment, I'll get it. Now, where have I seen that face before? Now, let's see, let's see. Oh, you, no, 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 that isn't it. Now, wait. It's, uh, no, it isn't either. Now, wait just a minute, I'll get it. Uh, that's all right, I'll get it. You just wait a second now. Uh, don't tell me, Agnes, I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it right out of here just a moment. Now, let's... <laughs> I know who you are. Mm -hmm. You are Colonel Buckshot. <laughs> right you are. <laughs> Police! Help! Officers! Police! Burglars! Oh. <laughs> Pardon me. Come, Agnes. Yes. Why, who are you? Uh, do you wish to see Colonel Buckshot? He's in there. And who do you think I am? I haven't the slightest idea. 
Get out of my house. Get out. Oh, God, save the king. Help, help, help. What's the matter with you? Come on, boys, in here. What's wrong here? There's burglars in this house and they're in there. Burglars? Yes. Let's go. 